Welcome back to the Hat House, guys. And this week's unboxing is supposed to be the best one yet. The uh, guy that I get the hats from says, I will not be disappointed. I've never really shared with you how much that I pay for this box of hats. This one I will. I'll tell you that I spent $500 on these hats. Uh, and you'll let me know, do you think I got ripped off? Uh, do you think I'll make some money? Do you think they were good vintage hats? Uh, I will tell you that there's a lot of truckers in here, a lot of patch truckers. Uh, the downside of getting so many truckers is, is the cleaning is a little more intense. It takes a little longer to get them cleaned up and ready to list. Uh, there are a few sports hats in here, some good sports hats. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Uh, I always like the feedback of how well you think we did. So the best box yet. We'll see. All right, guys, welcome back to another unboxing. Supposedly, this is supposed to be the best box yet. Uh, we'll see. I paid a little bit more for it um, as well. So well, let's see if I get what I pay for. And there's some great vintage uh, and good hats in here. All right, on top, we got some bicycling hats. We got some little kids' hats. These are so cute. We got some an Oshkosh kids visor. We got an LL Bean winter hat. We got a YE painter hat. And then a vintage Yellowstone hat. And then another LL Bean ear flap winter hat. All right. See what we got in the baseball caps. We got a Joe Camel vintage nylon hat. We got another vintage kind of 90s print. Flex fit hat. Here's a nice one. Major League Baseball. Vintage with just the MLB logo. That one's good. We've got a Boston Red Sox fitted. We got a vintage G Pat. We got a San Francisco 49ers. Or sorry, San Francisco Giants. It's just a different color for the Giants. Pretty cool. Then we got a vintage hunting hat with a buck on it. And we got a Vans, the checker on it. And we got an American Breeder Service, just got a busted bill. USC Trojans, this one's pretty good. It's kind of got the all over print. We got a Bulls Splash, but this is Mitchell and Ness. We got another Jordan hat. It's white. Hopefully that'll come clean. Turn my light on so we can get a little more light. Uh, then we got a California Highway Patrol vintage patch hat. Then we got a Fila vintage Fila hat. Uh, we got a Huff Effet hat. Philadelphia Flyers trucker. We got a Lion King painter hat. Houston Oilers vintage fitted hat. Pretty dirty. We got a Seattle Supersonic snapback. And then we got a London Fog. Fleece hat. Let's see what we got here. We got a card heart quilted. I just got a messed up button. And a Budweiser visor. We got another cycling cap. Then we got a 
Tanana Dog Mushers, Alaska. Well, that one's different. That's pretty cool. Oh man, if you know what this is, let me know. Is that some sort of, uh, I don't know, Transformers maybe? A vintage Transformers hat? Let's see if the tag says it. Just this star cap. This one is so cool. It's got a siren on the top. Let's see if I can get you a shot of the tag. It's a star cap. 1986. Really cool vintage hat right there. No idea what that's worth. Or if this battery in here works. Oh, it's got a need to find a 9 volt, see if that light works on it. Well, wow. that's cool. Alright, what else? We got a snap on corduroy. We got a funny trucker. I'm spending my kids' inheritance right now. Then we got a cat patch hat. We got a Budweiser patch hat. Then we got a John Deere patch hat. Then we got a Caesar's Palace patch. Oh wow, this one's cool. Still, still got the tags. It's Cleveland Indians. Really different logo right there. It is on special sports specialty tag too. Snapback. Pretty clean. Still got the cardboard inside, so it's really cool. Just might have to dust that one off. It's good to go. We got an Oakland A's trucker. Briggs and Stratton vintage hat. Del Cobb. Another snap-on trucker. Well, the foam is okay in these. Ultra Twister. That one might be good. We got a Hertz. God, Guns, Guts in America. Made America Free. Let's keep it. All three. There you go. I got a paper company hat. Nice denim with the patch. Got a John Deere, another John Deere patch hat. You know you're a senior citizen. Funny hat. Another police officer funny hat. Another John Deere patch hat. Seahawks. We got my cat Dean in the background. If you saw him, uh, we got a cat hat. It's got some bad foam. Here he is. He loves to smell the hats before I get them cleaned up. And we got a Corvette snapback trucker. Then we got a vintage 90s. It actually says 88. Yeah, this is more 80s colors, anyways. Really cool. Hopefully that comes clean. Kind of a painter hat. And I think that's a, it's a little Betty Boop, I believe. Snapback vintage hat. All right. There's a lot of truckers in here. Let's see what else. We got a Budweiser, King of Beers, another Del Cobb, Farm Hat, Pit Panthers, Six Hour. Uh, here's a Pendle here's a Pendleton hat. That was really cool. It does have some kind of wear holes from Mothels. Here's a darn seagulls hat with the uh, seagull poop on it. Those are really cool. We got a Green Bay Sports Specialties plain logo. <coughs> Oakland, Oakland A's. 
This one's really cool. It's on the American Needle, Vintage American Needle. Then we got a uh, We Interrupt This Marriage to Bring You Hunting. Here's a Polaris ski hat. Another funny trucker. I'd rather be pissed off than pissed on. Need some phone cleaning. And is it Friday yet? All right, then we got a Mountain Dew painter hat. Rent a tool, three stripe. Uh, gasoline motor oil, Texaco. We got a Taz hat, Taz blockhead style hat. Then we got uh, Flintstones, Pistons. Look at this USA hat. That one's cool. I have not seen that one yet. Intel. Always Intel and Microsoft always do awesome. Then we got a famous old time root beer. Barge root beer. St. Pauli Girl painter hat. We got a Raiders. Sports specialties. Not the great Raiders, but still pretty good. Then we got a Snoopy painter hat. I don't know how well you saw that. Godfather's Pizza vintage hat. We got a DuPont racing. Our boy Jeff Gordon leather hat. Then we got a Gator? Is that the Gator uh, like tractors? This is a vintage hat. It looks like it says ropes. Gator ropes? New to me. I bet that's still really good though. Then we got another Texaco trucker, rope trucker. NBA Finals, Blazers, Missing Snaps. I'm sure that was white at some point. All the other NBA Finals have been white. That was pretty dirty. Then we got a John Deere patch. Another John Deere patch. We got a CL Seahawks. This is called usually the grid. Grid hat. Martin Sprockets. Vintage Trucker 3 Strike. Uh, then we got another funny hat. This is not a bald spot. Got another Sakota vintage trucker with the patch. When all else fails, lower your standards. Another funny trucker. Just when we thought you were winning the race, along comes Faster Rats, funny trucker. 39 and holding, funny trucker. Janitors never die. They just kick the bucket. Funny trucker. Oh, here's an old tombstone pizza. Funny trucker. I hate everyone. Trucker hat. Drugs make me happy. Trucker hat. And here's an old L.A. Dodgers 1980. That was really cool. Clean too. Then there's that one. Alright. I think we got some three stripe truckers, more truckers in here. But on top we had a air power Husqvarna hat. Another Dokal. 
decalb farm hat. This one's cool. It's denim. We got a Nike hat. This one's vintage. Uh, if you didn't know, Nike bought sports specialties, and that's why it is really a Nike hat, even though it is on the sports specialties tag. Um, this one says NBA on it too, so I don't know. It has NBA, NHL. This one is different. That might be where to look up. Huh. You got another uh, denim trucker. Dow Chemicals. Then we got a 4x4 blazer. But that one's really good. Then we got New Kids on the Block. Vintage Painter Hat. We got a nice John Deere right here. We got another sports specialties, plain logo. We got another Miller Racing trucker hat. Then we got a three stripe Fell Pro performance products. Or actually, it's two stripes. Still cool. Then we got a Vancouver Canucks vintage hat. And mobile, mobile oil. Then we got a Pima Air Museum. Tucson, Arizona trucker hat. Then we got a three stripe. Machine Fabrication, Spokane, Washington, three-stripe hat. Foam's still okay. We got a Vinti Har Vintage Harley leather hat. Even has American Needle. May not be vintage. May just be a little rough. Pretty cool, though. Then we got another John Deere patch hat. Then we got a Craftsman Tools with scrambled eggs on it. Arizona Diamondbacks. Sports Specialties. Inaugural Season. Should do pretty well. Here's the. Then we got Washington Huskies. Oh, this one's good. Blockhead. This is by Apex One, so this one's vintage too. Apex One, blockhead style, Huskies. Uh, Coke patch hat, John Deere, trucker. Few left. Jack Daniels whiskey. Uh, Exxon, big patch hat. Emico oil hats. Here's another three stripe. Big Island Mine and Refinery, Wyoming three stripe hat. And another Wyoming three stripe hat. And then another Wyoming three stripe hat. Hope some of y'all from Wyoming. Maybe you want this. And then a Chevron vintage hat. And we got a good Mountain Dew. Always does well. The Mountain Dew with the big Mountain Dew patch. We got a steel. These always do really well. These patches. Foam's still pretty good. Just needs a little cleaning. Oh yeah. Then we got a Von Dutch. Purple and yellow Von Dutch hat. We got a Huff hat. Then we got another Red Sand. It's kind of a skater brand. Vintage Red Sand skater hat. Now check this one out. A Bahama. The Bahamas. That one's really cool. We got a 
Seattle Mariners, new era. Gonna need some shaping. We got another Seattle Mariners vintage. Kind of got a bent bill though. Then we got a San Francisco Giants from the OC. The last one was a letdown, but uh, there were some really good hats in there. What do you guys think? Has that been the best, best unboxing that I've done so far? Uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite hat was. Which one do you think will go for the most? Which one's worth the most money out of all that? All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out while we unboxed everything. If you made it this far, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate that. Uh, and thumbs up this video. It goes a long way of letting me know to keep making this type of content. So how do you think we did? Um, I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie uh, about getting my money back and then getting into the profit on this particular box. There were some great hats. The MLB hat uh, near the beginning was awesome. There's some great farm trucker hats. It's just going to take me some time to get them to the position they need to be to be able to list them on eBay. So until next time, guys, we'll catch you again here at the Hat House.